Let's Play! Hi guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Blind. We are in the Marsh Cave. This time though, we are fully prepared. Also, no more Mountain Dew. But I did grab another pop. This time I got Dr. Pepper because I absolutely adore Dr. Pepper. Probably just as much as uh, Mountain Dew. Though I can understand why people don't like it. So, um, I did, I know I shouldn't have, but I did a little bit of grinding between parts. Um, not much, just, just a bit. Um, mostly for money because I wanted more items, but honestly, another reason is I really am enjoying this. This might be my favorite Final Fantasy from just, just the feel of it so far. I'm really enjoying it. And so I, I, when I walked back to the, the to the marsh cave from uh, the Elfheim, I just sort of felt like I got into the mood for this game, and because of that, I didn't want to put it down. So I did walk around grinding a bit. Uh, is there a hidden wall here? Also, we can run. I guess I should have used that more. Hopefully, it's not like one of those stupid runs in games where it's like, it. Uh, ooh, more shadows. It's not like the ones where it's like. Oh, you're running? Well, here's triple the encounter rate. Because that's just annoying. Oh, we're blind. Uh, let's see if blind in this game actually affects it. Because I know in the original... Uh, maybe not. Because in the original um, NES one I read, blind actually didn't do anything because of a glitch. So I'm not sure if it, if it still works here or if it... I don't know. Because they did fix some stuff between the original and this one. Oh, that's dark, though. Dark is different, isn't it? I'm not sure. Whatever, we still won, and I think it goes away at the end of battle. You know, it might even just seem to be like it increases the encounter rate, because maybe we're running faster. Oh, hey, this looks like the right way to go. Basement 2, let's go out here. Oh, I guess we can't go out here. Because in our way is... Blood bones, skeletons, and a crawler. Blood bones, that is singular... That, no, that's plural for a singular enemy. That's very weird. Uh, oh, that six hits looks scary, but it's not. So, that's that's good. You know, just gonna take another sip of Dr. Pepper. And hey, my phone's ringing mid-part. That's a running gag. Hello? That was my grandma. She loves calling during parts. She wanted to know what year I was born, and it's just the funniest thing, because she's like, Tanner, what year were you born? And I'm like, 1995. And she's like, okay, thanks. And I'm like, you're welcome. And she just started laughing, and oh, it's funny. Grandmas are funny. Now I'm going to get really kind of serious here, and it sucks, but I realize that, like, you know, my grandma is, is old, and I realize that, but at the same time, I've actually never in had a death in the family at this point of recording. Um, like, I mean, wh well, like, when I could understand it. When I was really little, yes, one of my grandma's, uh, my, my grandma on my dad's side passed away. But I was so little, I didn't understand it. So, like, I haven't felt, I haven't, death has never occurred in my family when it would affect me. And I'm kind of worried that... It will affect me really hard when it does happen, but let's talk about a nicer thing. Like I was saying, Dr. Pepper. It's a running gag in our class, too. In our social class, because we don't have geography, um, politics, or economics, or whatever y'all Americans have. We just put them all together into one class called Social Studies. And so we have that class. Um, one of the running jokes is that um, the kids run out, grab a Dr. Pepper... And then they joke saying, Oh, you got DP'd? I love DP'd. Let's all go get DP'd. And the teacher jokingly wants, because he's, um... Oh, he's... From... From one European country. He's like, let's all go get DP'd. And it was the funniest thing ever. Kind of sucks that what it actually means. And we kind of pulled the wool over his eyes. But he's the funniest guy, too, because he didn't know... He bought a movie. We watched it today called Goodbye Lenin, which is like some German indie movie and it was actually really good but in it like he bought it and it still had that you know when you buy a movie and it has like the the plastic case around it that the person has to take off it was still on it and he, and people are like D did you steal this he's like no no my wife bought it for me and the funniest thing was he thought that like he thought that you just put it in the dvd player like that 
fun. He's such a funny guy. He's but he yeah, he is a bad teacher, I will admit. But unlike my other bad teacher for math, he actually puts in an effort. Oh hey, gargoyles. Um and it's like my one for math, he just doesn't care. He doesn't care if you pass, doesn't care if you, you fail. He just wants money. And I don't like him for that. My social teacher, he, he likes teaching. He's just not a good teacher. And he's it's hilarious because of that. Uh, steel plate. Let's see if anyone can equip that. Uh, I'm guessing no. Uh, geez, it's... Okay, so he has a steel plate. Can... No. And no. Well, that sucks, but whatever. And another random counter. We get... Ooh, gray ooze. We're already encountering recolors. Jeez, these guys... These guys hit hard. But I bet you they're gonna have absolute crap defense and HP. So they're gonna be the opposite of the other guys. Or I could be very wrong. Okay, well, at least they have less than 100 HP. And then there's just Tom freaking... And, and it's it's just it's amazing Brad leveled up. Oh Brad. You don't need to level up anymore. Trust me You are like yeah, you're 15 and they're all much less Let's use some potions. I want to save the magic. I'm, I'm gonna learn to conserve it because oh boy it Takes a lot of potions to heal us um, Being conservative is a good thing. I, I've learned um, So I'm going to try and keep my magic on the DL. All right, so uh, nothing. Though that could no. It's gonna say the boss could appear there, but no. I'm guessing the boss would be visible. Uh, yeah, we've seen all these enemies before, and yeah, I'm gonna fight them all because it's not that long to fight them. I think you know, compared to running away, it almost takes the same amount of time. Plus, experience is good. Although Fuad told me like. Because he bought this game on PSN and stuff, so he played it first. He's like, if you get lost, you will be over-leveled. And I'm like, what? No, it can't be like that. Um. Wow. I think the reason why it's schizophrenic is because we get critical hits. Yeah, like that. See, and it's maybe because it flashes so quickly we don't see it. Maybe it's one of those refresh rate things, or one of those if you're playing on a standard television, or... If you're playing, I'm playing on a high-def television in standard. Maybe that screws it up because there's all sorts of weird combinations and things like that. Uh, nothing in there. Uh, no! Treasure chest. Very nice. Found 295 gil. Y yay. I mean, we get that much from killing Grey Ooze. As far as I can tell, Grey Ooze don't have hands to have money with. Or pockets, for that matter. They must keep it inside of them. That means they ate... Well, actually, that makes sense because if... If it's Grey Ooze, they probably attack by eating, so they would eat an adventurer, wannabe warrior of light, and that would make total sense. Okay, so there's a little bit of logic. Doesn't explain how, you know, frickin' chipmunks can have shields and swords and stuff. Well, I guess it does, because they're hoarders. Like, naturally, they, they hoard stuff, so... I don't know. Food gain a level! Yay! Um, okay, we're going down. Hey. Uh, nothing. Jay's encounters. More gar uh, gargoyles. You know, I never did watch the- I mean, when I was a kid, I saw there was a show called Gargoyles on TV, but I never watched it. And I've heard people rant on and on about how great it was. You know, like, like, uh, Friends, uh, and Tom. They all say it's so great, and yet I've I've never really sat down to watch it. And I, I think I should. I think it's one of those things that I should. I did get DuckTales, because I want to actually live that. I mean, I loved DuckTales as a kid, but it's like I don't remember any plots other than one about these people who were like jelly beans, and they jumped around, and there was a stampede of these jelly bean people. Which sounds like a messed up dream, but it's actually like an episode from the show. So, yeah. Werewolves. I can make a Twilight joke, but honestly, Twilight's on its way out, I think. Now that the movies are done, and now that nobody's really talking about it anymore, unless she writes a fifth book, which I would be sad about, uh, yeah, it's just not, not, not much of a... It's not a big thing anymore, and the jokes are kinda eh. That said, Justin Bieber jokes 
are different now. Before you used to just make fun of him because he he was like pre uh, prepubescent singer, but if you look what he's been doing lately, he's freaking nuts. I'm talking like wearing a Chanel wrestling mask. We already went here. What? Um. Oh, hey, this looks like a place to go. What? The door is locked with the mystic key. Well, I guess we probably need this mystic key. Um, he's like wearing this weird wrestler's mask, and it's like, he's just weird. He's sort of going, actually I'm gonna run, whatever. He's taking like the Michael Jackson school of let's go as apeshit crazy as we can, and then use that for like a part of our fame. It just seems like that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to be crazy just to stay relevant. Uh, Mystic Key, yes. Darn it. I don't know where this Mystic Key is. I hope it's not, like, at the other end of the dungeon, because that would make me sad. Uh, these guys are just so annoying. Also, poison. Don't poison me. What do you think you are? Transvestite character from Street Fighter? At your final fight? That's just an awkward conversation, though, because it's like, in one place, it's just a dude, but in the other place, I actually got a sex change, and either way, it's not actually a woman. Damn it. Why is she the hottest ca- he- She- She the hottest character in Street Fighter. I mean... Wh why couldn't you make like... Uh... Oh... Armika. She at least looks like she could be a man with those massive muscles and stuff. Even like Chun-Li with her thighs. Thighs the size of like... freaking Jumbo Jets. I'm not a big thigh guy. I, d I don't see the appeal of massive thighs. Maybe I'm just di different? Did anybody get poisoned? No, nobody got poisoned. What am I talking about? A mystic key? Darn it. Where's this mystic key? I hope we don't need to go on a mystic quest for it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I like that game. It was one of the first RPGs I played. And so, you know, it's. I think people just give it a harsh time because it wasn't Final Fantasy V, which is probably one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Behind this one, if I like this one, by the end, the same as I like it now, you know. Oh, Mystic Key? I guess we won't know until this happens. Oh, ooze. You're just so oozy. That's a gun. As a kid, all the kids were talking about oozies. Copper armlet. And it's like, because they all played... I, as a kid, I never played M-rated games because I was not allowed to. Uh, is it not a... Well, where does it go? Shield? No. Uh, what type of item is it? It's an armlet thing, right? An armlet? Made of, yeah, who, who can equip it then? Let's just optimize. Optimize? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the, uh, uh, Tom put it on. That's good. Uh, Mystic Key. Mystic Key. Another sip of Dr. Pepper. It's just a little single gray ooze all out in his lonesome, flying there. Is he flying or is it just like the perspective? No, he's definitely flying because that's a shadow underneath. So, that's definitely flight. Also, gray ooze is apparently very fast. Maybe it has high, high viscosity or something weird. Um, yeah, freaking, I guess we don't come here yet because we don't have the mystic key. Is this the way to mis mystic key? No, I guess not. Let's explore this play area. Oh, Final Fantasy 1, you're just so fun, and... Oh, classic RPG layouts. You know, it's funny, because it's like, as, you know, I never used to think of Pokemon as an RPG. But when you look back to, like, the, the original Pokemon, like Red and Blue, they do follow a lot of, like, RPG norms. Even, like, layout-wise. Nowadays, it doesn't feel like it's as much of, an, of a classic RPG layout-wise, but in terms of, like, the originals... They really had a sort of blocky, like like you see how they're like all blocks and stuff. I guess that's, that's normal for an RPG. I mean, it's that's how RPGs are. But I mean, just it just really was kind of I don't know. That just got me thinking. Okay, so this isn't the way we go. Um, can we go through here? No. Can we talk to the bats. Gee! It's a bat noise. Uh, nope. Please don't tell me it's in the other area that we were before, and then we'd have to go all the way back, because that would make me sad. And running from these guys again. Miss. Yay! Missing's nice. Come on, Jarek. 
Your one trait is that you can run fast. Come on, bro. Um... And... Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, it's just where I came from. Oh. That's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Um... I didn't even notice that we came down a ladder. I just sort of thought if we just kind of fell down a hole with skeletons and stuff and... Come on, Jarek! Yay! Wow, I made Audacity look like a sword because it went kind of... kind of in. I am so lame. <laughs> it's like, oh god! It's like today, um, my friend was like... He was like, dude, me and my other friend had a pushing competition and it was so fun. And I'm like, okay. He's like... How come when- how come when you talk about games, I listen adamantly, despite me not caring? And yet, when I talk about something awesome, you just don't care? It's like, do you think games are really that important? I'm like, dude, games are serious business! And, uh, it was funny. Because that was an event that happened in the hallway. And hallway happenings are- are always fun. I don't have a high sort of, you know- You know those people who, like, go out and, like, Whoa, whoa, what, what? No. There's people who are, like, Always doing crazy stuff like, um, what are those called? Flash mobs and stuff. I can't do that. That, to me, scares me. But when it comes to, like, in the hallways at the school, I will just yell out whatever, you know. With, uh, to my friends, of course. I'm not just one of, gonna be one of those, you know, lol, xd, random kids. Because I don't like those kids. And there are some at our school. Since our school is 9, 10, 11, 12, we have the grade 9s. Oh my god, those kids are horrible. They're like... Oh, and some of them just look so, yeah, like, like, like they have the small scrunched little heads with the bulging eyeballs and they, they just look like you could sneeze, oh god, seizures, they just look like you could sneeze and they'd like fall over and you just kind of feel bad for their, for them existing and it's mean to say, but it's, it just, they just look so, yeah, it's like the only way to describe it. Okay, you know what? I'm guessing it is at the entire other end, and I'm just completely lost. If not, I think I will look up a guide. Because, for a game like this, it's not that bad having a guide. There are games where it's like, you know what, it's okay, bro. You're, you're in it for the experience, not so much the... 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 No, that's not right, because the phrase is you're in it for the journey, not the not the conclusion. But honestly, I kind of want to be in it for the conclusion, because I kind of just want to say, I beat Final Fantasy 1, which is, is an achievement. I mean, it's, it's a thing. I've never beat Final Fantasy 1. Most people around my age haven't, because it's just not a, not a game that you play. I mean, it's no Call of Duty. It's no DMC, Devil May Cry. We're not playing as Fuwa the Ghoul Hunter. Uh, it has a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> I still have opinions on that game. People are like, it's, if you don't look at it as a Devil May Cry game, it's not that bad. I'm like, that is very true. However, it is a Devil May Cry game. That's like saying, you know, Sonic 06 isn't that bad of a game if you don't look at it as a Sonic game. I'm like, no. No, because of the fact that you, you sort of fell down from grace, that is one of the reasons why it does suck. I, just, I know the game is not that bad. Um, I've, I haven't played it personally myself. I'm not a big fan of the uh, big FU fests, you know, games. I'm more of a... Uh, I like I like E-rated games. My, my most played probably demography is uh, T-rated games. Just because that's, that's, that's the, uh, you know, it's funny because you can have some inappropriate jokes, but at the same time, it's not so much like, oh, better turn this off, my family's coming downstairs, you know. Not to say I don't have some M-rated games, I mean, I have like, let's see over here, I have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, that is, that surprises me. It came with my PS2 that I bought, which I love, but I need new controllers for. Uh, Mass Effect, the God of War games, those ones are fun. Those ones are ones I don't play when my family comes down because, uh, well, God of War 1 isn't that bad, though. God of War 1, other than the sex scene and the topless chicks, not that bad. Even, like, the blood is really subdued. It's God of War, uh, God of War 2 where things really start to get, you know, 
I'm Kratos! Rape! You know, it's stuff like that. I don't, I don't condone that. I'm just saying that's something he would say because he is Kratos, the god of war and, and stuff. I, I am going to let's play that game. That's, I want to let's play God of War 1. Uh, just because I, I think it gets a bad rep. I think people say, you know, oh, it's the start of when games got too violent and kids were, kids were killing each other and stuff, eh? I went full-blown Canadian there. Um, God, we're running out of items because I got lost. That is not good. Got that item. Uh, okay. This is not good. Oh, Black Widows. What is this, the Avengers? <laughs> I love the Avengers. I can't wait to go see Iron Man 3. I know it's like, oh, oh, Iron Man's been done before and stuff, but I don't know. I enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the Dark Knight Returns, the, or Rises, Rises, Rises that much. I didn't like it that much. Um, as a movie on its own, it's good. As a Batman movie, I didn't enjoy it. Holy crap, I just completely became a hypocrite from what I said earlier. Well, no, because I, I didn't like it. Because as a Batman movie, it's like Batman's only in, I'd say, like, 25% of the movie. Bruce Wayne is in it a lot. I mean, it's, it's Bruce Wayne. He's, he's, he's Batman, you know. Um, but it's it's really not very, uh, like, as as a movie about cops, it is a great movie about Gotham's police force. It is a good movie. I just, I just didn't see much Batman, really. Gosh darn it, more green slimes. Don't poison. Jeez. Jeez. We only, uh, we, we have zero of the things left. Antidotes. That's not good. Well, no, no, we, we have ones left now, but I mean, we, na now we have none. Unless we let Jarek die. No, that's mean. Um, okay. Go up. Is there anything up here? No, there's nothing that way. We went that way. What about this way? I don't think we went this way. Uh, secret, nope. Uh, secret, nope. This looks like a new door. Yeah, Mr. Key. Dagger. Darn it, I didn't want to find that chick from Final Fantasy IX. So this, there's nothing that way. Okay. This should about do it for this part. I'm gonna actually get out of here, go heal up, grab some more antidotes and stuff, and also look up where to go next. Because I, uh, I need to find the Mr. Key. Otherwise, I'm kinda lost. And that's not good. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys after then. Ciao!